Hi everybody, this is Rexus, and welcome back to Let's Play Medieval 2. On this episode, we'll begin exploring the White Chapel in search of Kia. So this is pretty much a, a graveyard, so we get some nice easy zombie enemies for some easy chalice experience. What's actually very handy in dispatching these zombies is um, the axe. Because if you just press square, the axe will get thrown at him, and usually it'll rebound straight back into him to kill him. So that's really nice. Hey, follow me, stupid zombie. So we want to get as many zombies as we can. Go up here. Oh yeah. Lots and lots of zombie juice there. Don't worry about the zombie juice, really. There's going to be a plentiful supply of in this level. Yeah. As you can tell, even from just the first area, we're nearly full already. And there's many enemies to come, so yay. Let's talk to the Spectral of Light. Dane, I bounced around and Kia was lost seen going into a nightclub. The old area is under a curfew for some reason, so tread carefully. The last thing we need is more trouble. So that's basically code cool for Kia is in a nightclub. Which nightclub could it possibly be? Could it be the one that's straight down in front of us? Called Club? So let's walk straight in Hold here. It, please, sir. What? I need to see your membership card. We don't have a membership card. Ugh. Guess that means we have to go get one, folks. So, there, there's something you can do that'll stop these police officers from chasing you, but in my experience, it's just seems sort of random, never works. So, I'm just gonna sprint past them and um, they won't catch me, so it's okay. So, what I'm gonna do is just quickly dispatch these two zombies, push this crate here, and jump up here. It's kind of cool actually, we kind of missed that last moment. So we want to just land down here and jump in this window to enter an area with a fountain of rejuvenation. So we're now at our full health. So basically in order to get into that club we need three things. A suitable um, gentlemanly appearance and a membership card. Uh, so um, well that's two things I guess, but they come in three parts in this level. So, let's just smash open these crates. We get some mula. And a library key. So, let's put our head on these hands with a little triangle in case we forgot. Which you probably won't because you're used to doing the same puzzle in this game. And enter here. Put our head on this. Put our hand. Head. Yeah, I guess head on the hand on this switch. So now we want to switch back to Dan. And go upstairs. And here we have the Griffin Shield. So now that we have that, we want to reunite ourselves one again. So let's just get down and put um, his head back on his neck, I guess. And we use the library key here. And we can exit this building to enter this section. Let's read this book. This house belonged to Isabel Bruna, no industrialist and socialist. He was one of the richest men of his age. He made his fortune producing mechanical toys. After a number of unexplained accidents, he was thrown to his death while demonstrating the safety of his infamous steam power rocking pony. Blah 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 blah. But he is buried in Whitechapel Cemetery. This cemetery, this cemetery, cemetery we were in not too long ago. So I want to pick up his silver shield. So I didn't realize we didn't have a shield. So that's gonna be an excellent. And we get the membership car for our difficulties. So now that we have that, let's jump out this window. Why not? And just go back. We have membership card, so can we get in there? Hold it, please, sir. That's not your card, is it, sir? You haven't got a beard. Oh, no. I think we took that guy's membership card, um, whatever his name is. The guy we just read in the book last two, two seconds ago. So what I want to do is just sprint up here. All the way. They remind me of you know, those um, cliche guards from... Um, all those really, really old movies. You know, where you'd see him ch like groups of about 10 of them chasing one guy up and down the street. You know, the black and white ones. Charlie Chaplin had them in them. I don't know, I'm just ranting, I guess. So, we want to enter this area. And here we get the flaming crossbow. I don't know, I, 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 this is a really good weapon, and I kind of like the way they just gave it to you without you needing a chalice. So, let's kill some more zombies. Stop running away, zombies! I need your juice. Yeah, now the whoa, go away from me! I'm sorry, I did not. I meant to kill this guy. So I want to do with this one. 
want to lure this guy away first of all, anyway. Follow Dan the Criminal! Hang it out here. Stay there. They do a lot of damage. Stay there. Basically, this is a bit of a life puzzle. All we want to do is just hit, um, hit these platforms to uh, make it whoop. Too much. Hit all these platforms so they rotate and they're face, the light, the colors are facing the center. And then jump on this switch. Oh, go away, man. And then what you want to do is you want to jump on the button and turn one into, um... Oh, come on! Turn one into green. Leave one red. And turn one into blue. And in doing that, you'll solve this puzzle. Which basically opens up his uh, statue. I guess there's a bit of a tomb there or something. But we jump down here and we get the unicorn shield. Now that we have both of these shields, we can actually, um, you might not have noticed, but um, the guy's tomb was um, in the graveyard, obviously. So, well, yeah, tomb, I guess, is in the graveyard. So now we can get it, enter there now that we have both the shields. The uh, griffin shield and the unicorn shield. So with that, we first of all want to go and get us. Well, collect the chalice. So enter here, get the chalice. Always, always good. Although not as good in this game as you might be led to believe, folks. I'll explain why later. So now what I do is want to just enter this building. Go down here. This place is very confusing. So don't be um, annoyed if you start getting lost. The streets all seem the same, which is I kind of don't like. So. But it's the way it is. Oh, I miss 10 gold, it doesn't matter. So now for our efforts, we enter here. And Dan becomes... Gentleman Dan! So, um, this door opens soon as we get the suit, so... We can leave! So we just want to go back. I'll probably get lost going back. Yeah, we've gone too far. We just basically want to go back to the graveyard now. Now that we have the suit, we only need one more element. The club! Just wanna go back up here. And here's the tomb, so we wanna use the Griffin Shield. And we wanna use the Unicorn Shield. Which is open this door. And then we can enter this guy's tomb who we're trying to stop steal the identity from. Great moral get message game. Steal everyone's identity if it helps you get someone you love. Boy, obey the law if it's someone you love, right? So basically kill off that round of zombies. And this guy is very tough, folks. Use your most powerful weapon. If you have the sword enchanted, use it. This guy is going to take a lot of hits to go down. And the zombies are going to keep you spawning until he's dead, so... Whoa! Use whatever weapon you prefer, hammer, axe, sword, whatever. Just make sure you focus all your strikes on this guy. Oh, the king. Holy crap. The rest of the zombies will stop respawning, I think. Maybe, but we got what we came for. We want this beard. I don't want to lose any more health, so just grab this beard. And now we can leave. Now we look like the guy on the identity, uh, not identity, our membership card. So hopefully this time the bouncer will allow us passage. Good evening. In you go, sir. Okay, so let's just assume the membership card has a picture of a skeleton on it. And the fact that I'm carrying a big sword and shield in here doesn't make any difference to letting me in. Good stranger, you look for the Egyptian one. <laughs> she was here. I told her what's been happening, but the Ripper, he's been working through all my girls. I think she's gone to find him. I tried to stop her, but she's a headstrong <laughs> girl. If she means anything to you, you better oh find her before God. it's too late. Quick, the hurry gratuitous to the tower. A game. But before you go. Fortify yourself with this. So far, our efforts we obtain a light bottle. Quite generous out of the prostitute, I guess. 
I don't know, they always seem to have prostitutes in these old, like, ancient English games. Not ancient English games, but you know, any game set in, like, 19th century England always seems to mention prostitutes or something. Like a movie or anything. Prostitutes are always involved. I swear that's all that was around back then. Just go to the left, and enter here, to exit that area. And now we get to find Kia. Oh my god! It's the Ripper! No! He's draining our soul. We're too late. Damn you, Ripper! Oh no! Whatever will we do? Poor Kia. Poor Kia died. We were too late to save her. <laughs> 